So, uh, Ms. Lubna, can you share your screen and uh, put the uh, sequence of the presentations? Yeah. Let's uh, let's see, like, uh, who's missing here? Here is the sequence for uh, the ultimate design projects presentations. The first group uh, will be the chemistry group, Sanadia, Brimish Shamsi, and Raghad Najjar. Following that, we will uh, be uh, uh, watching the presentation of the uh, physics voice section, Muhammad, Rashid, and uh, Slema. Then we have the computer project by Sheikh Ahmed, environmental from the boys section, uh, Abdullah and Rashid. Then for the business project, Jenna, then the chemistry project from the boys section. Then finally, I think, yes, finally, physics project from the girls section by Malak, Maryam and Jude. Is the first group ready? Yes. Yes. Uh, good morning, all. Concerning the first group, uh, Aisha will be replacing Ragat because she's having troubles. She's in another country right now. So uh -huh. Aisha will be there instead of Ragat. Okay. Can we start, Ms. Nafisa, with the first project? Let's start. Let's start with the first project. Okay, I'm going to share my screen. You can share your screen. Yes. I'll stop presenting. Yes, please. Okay. Okay, can you see my presentation? Yes. Okay, great. Okay, so good morning, everyone. Today, my group and I are going to be presenting our chemistry PBL documentary, and it's about plastics. That's what we research about all year. So let's get started. First off, I'm starting with the introduction. So the problem with plastic is that it is largely not biodegradable. So each year, 400 million tons of plastics are made, and 40% of that is single-use plastic that we can use only once before it is binned. So now, on to the main question. What are biodegradable plastics? Biodegradable plastics are plastics that, through the action of live organisms, can decompose into the water, carbon dioxide, and biomass. Biodegradable plastics are made from traditional petrochemicals and are engineered to break down more easily. Okay, so now the hypothesis. Uh, we are going to experiment how well-known biodegradable plastics are and if the world is ready yet to adapt to them or not. Our research will consist of graphs, researches, of course, and we, were, we also contacted a few plastic companies to get the best information possible. We have a few questions to find the answers to in this research, which are, first, to what extent are biodegradable plastics sustainable? Second, can biodegradable plastics replace synthetic ones? And third, can we stop plastics from being transported into the ocean? Now to the scientific background which is the main one over here. So phenol and formaldehyde, the first plastic based on a synthetic, a synthetic polymer was developed in 1907. And as you can see over here in the third image, we have phenol and formaldehyde gives us trimethanol. More onto the scientific background. Over here, I have many forms of polymers make up plastic. And the problem with these polymers is that they have very strong carbon backbones, which means they are very hard to break or decompose. This makes them stay on Earth for, for thousands of years, releasing toxic materials into the soil, ocean, and more. Now Aisha is going to be explaining the explanation and background research. As we know, plastic has been one of the most important materials used by people nowadays. Almost everything we use is made out of plastics. However, without proper waste disposal, there has been severe problems to our earth and plants. Because these plastics are not biodegradable, it will take many years, maybe thousands, to decompose, to decompose, and also they harm our environment.
Now Reem is going to be talking about the project execution stage. Uh, so the main two substances needed to make uh, biodegradable plastic are PHAS and starch plants. And there are many ways you can make biodegradable plastic. One of these ways is doing it at home. And the next slide, we're going to show the steps of doing biodegradable plastic at home. So uh, as we know, now a lot of products are made out of plastic, a lot of thrown away and will stay in garbage dumps and for thousands of years. Biodegradable plastic, unlike normal plastic made from petroleum, decompose and become part of the soil. So the first step to make a biodegradable plastic at home, you need to gather the materials. So um, materials needed to make biodegradable plastic is really simple. You just need cornstarch, water and cooking oil. And the tool needed to make uh, to make it a spoon or just something to mix it and measure it with a microwavable container and a microwave. In the next uh, step, we're gonna see the proportions. So the proportion to make a plastic by degradable plastic are one tablespoon of cornstarch and one and a half tablespoon of water, three to five drops of cooking oil. In the next slide, the preparations. Uh, so you need to mix the ingredients together to form a milky looking liquid, just like the one you are seeing. And once you have this mixture, it's ready to be microwaved. So step four is microwaving. You need to put the mixture in the microwave and set the microwave on a high heat for 25 to 30 seconds, no more, and you, the mixture uh, should start to bubble and should start to become slightly transparent. You need to keep an eye on the mixture to make sure nothing goes wrong. Step five is molding the plastic. So uh, when uh, it looks slightly transparent, you need to take it out and let it cool for a bit so you can handle it. Then you need to knead the plastic until it's soft and can be molded like a Play-Doh. Now you can mold it into whatever shape you want. Once uh, molded, you need to leave it about 24 hours for it to cure and become solid. And it's best to keep the surface from drying out while it's curing. And step six, you can, as ideas, you can add um, some food coloring to give your biodegradable plastic some color. And also you can use the biodegradable plastic you just did to make a plant pot. You can uh, put some soil in it and you can put a plant and that's how you have it. Now in the next slide. So many uh, places started actually using biodegradable plastic as their bags. One of these jobs is Virgin Megastores. So, Megastores, so all the stores in United Arab Emirates of Mega Virgin, uh, they started to use this plastic, uh, biodegradable plastic, which is all made of natural and not floating greens that can uh, decompose. In the next video, we're going to see, it's going to show us how they make their bags. So as you saw in the video, that is how they make their biodegradable plastic bags. And uh, 
uh, Virgin Megastore is one of the shops that started this step and all shops can do that because biodegradable plastic is way better than normal plastic and it doesn't cost much and it's great for the environment. So on the next slide, we're moving uh, to Aisha. She's gonna explain data analysis, graphs and tables. Okay. So after observing the graph, we could figure the relationship between the mismanaged plastic waste and the plastic marine debris. Mismanaged plastic waste and plastic marine debris have directly a uh, proportional relationship, where when the amount of mis mismanaged plastic waste increased, the amount of plastic marine debris increased as well. As an example, looking at the statistics of China's waste, we could see that it has the highest amount of mismanaged plastic waste and the highest amount of plastic marine debris, and then they both decrease all the way down uh, to the United States. Um, this graph represents the amount of uh, time plastic takes to decompose. The first five bars uh, shows the synthetic pl uh, plastics, which takes from a range uh, of about 80 years to 600 years to decompose. Moreover, after decomposing, it harms the environment, while on the other hand, the compostable or biodegradable plastic takes only one year to decompose and doesn't harm the environment after decomposing. This shows that uh, biodegradable plastic are way better as it takes less time to decompose and after decomposing, it releases natural um, pro uh, products that doesn't harm the environment. Okay, so in conclusion, biodegradable plastics can reduce the need for fossil fuels used to produce traditional plastics because they can be extracted from plant materials such as corn, sugar, potato, or sugarcane. Biodegradable plastics are a part of the solution to waste accumulation. Thank you so much. I really hope you enjoyed our presentation. Thank you, ladies, for this nice presentation. We enjoyed it. Thank you for your efforts. Uh, now, Mr. Salim will be presenting the physics project from the boys section. Yes, I will now share my screen to the meeting and one of the students will start presenting. Okay. you are ready. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Zaid, you are here or no? We can't uh, see the screen, Mr. Salim, but we can hear the voice. We can hear the voice. Uh, now we see it. Bro. Yalla, Muhammad. Okay, uh, so welcome everybody. Mr. Can you just mute the other site? Because I hear myself voice. Like just mute yourself. Or sh let me see. Yeah, it's better. Okay, so hello everybody. This is our presentation presented by me, Muhammad, and Zayed. So our outline, uh, this is what we'll, this is, these are the objectives that we will be trying to achieve. So we're going to introduce our topic. I'll give you a brief uh, explanation slash background about the research. Then we have some data that we'll an uh, analyze. We have a model which we'll talk about. We'll give you some challenges that we faced or hardships throughout the, uh, the project and the skills we gained both personally and academically. And then I'll conclude the presentation. Okay, so to introduce the topic about uh, the ultimate box design, first I'm going to tell you about the best choices for storage. Uh, cardboard boxes is one of the best. Uh, it could be extremely useful for storage because uh, it could be useful for storing food, for example, devices, or even furniture. These boxes are revolutionary because they have been invented by mankind, but as almost everything, all, all the inventions in the world, there's a negative side to it. It can be very harmful to the environment, as it can cause pollution, as I will talk about in the next slide. 
So there are many problems uh, in creating the cardboard box. Here are the four main problems. The first one is there's uh, the need to cut trees. And of course, everyone knows once you cut trees, the greenhouse gases build up, which is very harmful to the environment as pollution and the problem of pollution pops up. Plastic also is another problem as it's not biodegradable. So it stays on for, it stays on land for long periods of time and it comes waste. Also, the plastics can reach, reach the oceans, which can harm the sea creatures and it can also harm the environment. So first, uh, the problem that I mentioned was the need to cut trees. Of course, if you're gonna create cardboard boxes, you're gonna have to cut trees. Uh, this, is, this will be a problem because once you cut trees, there's gonna be a decrease in oxygen levels. And also the trees provide oxygen to all species. And once there's no trees, uh, many species will die as it's also a habitat to many species. So this is why it's one of the main problems. So as you can see here, we have a data. Uh, over here we have carbon dioxide, 76%. This data basically shows how, green how greenhouse gases warm our planet. So 76% of the gases are carbon dioxide, while 18% are methane, and 86% are nitrous oxide, and 2% are fluor uh, fluorinated gases. And as the main point I'm trying to make is that all of this, it causes uh, greenhouse gases buildup. So once you create cardboard boxes, you're gonna need to distribute all of these gases, which are harmful. Also, one of the main problems was plastics. As plastics are thrown into the land or into the oceans, as I'll talk about in the future slides, plastics will become waste and very harmful to the environment as the creatures can, be, can eat the plastics and die, which can cause extinctions to other species. Also, uh, the beaches can be filled with plastics, which will result in just waste in general in all parts or just uh, waste in general. Last but not least about uh, the pollution, we're gonna talk about if uh, plastics can reach the oceans. This is harmful because it could cause sea pollution or uh, sea creatures, for example, they will see the plastics, think it will, it's food, and then it will eat the plastics and die. And if many species or sea creatures eat the food, the, or the plastics, they will die and cause extinction. Also, people will not be able to find fresh water if uh, plastics keep going into the ocean. The materials we used for the box, we used pulp and floating. The execution stages that we used the appropriate formulas for the box to find the best measurement, and we took the most appropriate materials to make the best and most durable books that can help us in all uses. My bad, my bad. So now we're going to talk about the data analysis or the main presentation components, which are stress, stress, and tensile strength and strain. So first of all, we're going to explain our, well, how did we find the force of gravity? So first of all, the force gravity formula is F equal M times G. G is the acceleration of the gravity, which is 9.81, it's a constant unit. Meanwhile, the box, which was the average mass around nine kilograms. And we found the answer to be 88.29 Newtons. So now let's talk about the stress. So the stress formula is F over A, which is F is the force of gravity, which we found in the last slide, which is 88.29, and the applied force, which we found uh, as one. And how do you find it? We found it by the volume uh, formula, which we used uh, certain dimensions, which I'm going to explain in the upcoming slide. So to know the formula, so we used the force of gravity to the object mass, and also we used the applied force, and we found the answer. So in the next slide, we're going to talk about the tensile strength. So the tensile strength, uh, we found that the formula is force over width. So the, we already found the force of gravity, which is 88.29 over uh, with what we didn't choose a certain measurement. 
So now let's talk about the stiffness, which now we're going to explain the stiffness and strain. So the stiffness, we know that the formula is module of elasticity, which is a constant unit of the tensile strain, which is also a constant unit. So we chose a cer uh, two certain numbers and we multiplied them to get the stiffness. So now, which is related to the next slide, which is about the strain. So now after we found the stiffness, we need to find, uh, by the help of using the stiffness, we need to find the strain. So there is a certain formula for the stiffness, which is, which is strength over strain. So if we found the strength, so we can directly find this. We, we arrange the formula so we can find the strain. And uh, also how uh, the tensile stiffness is uh, like equivalent to the L model of elasticity and the sample of the or the thickness T. So if we want to find the thickness, uh, it will be six millimeters. So this is our model design, which we're going to put inside the uh, laptop or plastic bottle or coffee bottle. And uh, the dimensions, as I told you, uh, it was 100 centimeters, 100 uh, height, length, and width. And we found the volume one uh, meter cubic. So what are the challenges we faced during the project since we are in all COVID lockdown? So uh, we didn't know how to communicate or use uh, Google Meet as an as as a daily use because we are used to uh, work and uh, you know in school or after school. So first of all, we didn't find the found the, finding the time as a uh, as a group to work together was a little bit off or hard. And uh, also we found out that the plastics which get burned uh, are harmful or the, as Suleiman explained, that can uh, see can cause pollution or uh, damage the cell system for the creatures, sea creatures, and can contribute to global warming do, through gas emission. Academic skills gained. We gained many skills, like uh, from the uh, recycling plastic, uh, is very difficult. And we researched the best size for the box because to find the most appropriate size and so it not to be too big or too small. And the production of the box uh, might uh, affect the environment in the long term. So we have to find the most sustainable way. Personal skills gained. We gained many skills as at uh, the time of COVID-19, it's hard to have physical contact so we find uh, out many ways to work as a group and as a team to finish this project and work as a team. Conclusion, we described how it is made and what uh, are the disadvantages and uh, its harms of making cardboard and thank you for listening. Thank you. Thank you, Shabam. Uh, next, we have uh, Sheikh Ahmed from the computer. Peter, I am so sorry if it's too bad. I will be presenting again. Sheikh. Okay, we'll skip the computer project for now. Uh, Mr. Salim, the environmental project is ready to present. Yes, Miss. Uh, I sorry, I wasn't hearing you. Yeah, yeah. the environmental uh, project is Ali. Ali, okay, I'll check with you. Uh, okay. The other two teams from the girls sections are not girls section are not ready. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so we can point. go with the environmental. Uh, I hear myself. Ah, oh, sorry. Okay, we have uh, Abdullah Muhammad and Rashid Saeed. Are you both ready, please? Yes, yes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. So, just let me share my screen.
اوكي شو بي ستارت يلا عبد الله كان ستارت اوكي يس سو توداي وي غين بي بريزنتينغ ذا التيميت ديزاين تشالنج ويتش از اور بي بي ال فور ذا انفايرمنتال ساينس ات ويل بي بريزنتد باي مي عبد الله اند ماي ماي فريند راشد سعيد and Salem was with us but unfortunately he was uh, unable to join us today okay so plastic has been the biggest concern for environmentalists in the past century plastic sticks around in the environment for ages threatening wildlife and spreading toxins plastic also contributes to global warming almost all plastics are made from chemicals that come from production of plant warming fuels like gas oil and even coal And by 2020, by 2024, the UAE national agenda aims to reduce the landfill by 75% uh, <clears throat> and protect the environment from the methane gas emitted by the same. The Emirate of Abu Dhabi uh, pursues an ambitious plan to divert 85% of its waste from dumping grounds by 2018, while Dubai Munis 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 Municipality uh, Integrated Waste Management Master Plan aims to reduce the amount of waste by by uh, being sent to the landfill by z to to 0% by 2032 here we can see the the U uae agenda to reduce plastic okay so recycling plastic for recycling to work communities must be able to cost effectively collect and sort plastic and businesses must be willing to accept the material for processing Uh, collection of plastics is expensive because plastic bottles are light and also bulky at the same time, making it hard to efficiently gather significant amount of melting plastic. Our objectives and goals for, for, for our design is to design a new form of packaging that is eco-friendly and to find new materials to use in the, uh, the water bottle industry and to ensure that, uh, that, that all materials used are degradable. Okay, uh, our hypothesis is that the bottle should be made with something like cardboard and could handle uh, water, which is pH 7, as well as uh, it should be food safe and degradable. And it will also contain a wax interior, um, <coughs> which, will, which is food safe, and it will prevent it from leakage. Background research. So based on our research, we find three options uh, that are competitors to our product. First of all, it's liquid wood. It's a promising uh, bioplastic or biopolymer. Um, <clears throat> biopolymers uh, uh, are materials that look and feel just like plastic, but unlike petroleum-based plastic, they are biodegradable. Uh, this biopolymer comes from a polymer-based uh, lignin, and is, it's a renewable resource. Uh, glass, on the other side, uh, are potentially are uh, potentially 100% recyclable, and the glass in them could be reused endlessly. without the loss uh, of the quality and purity. Uh, glass manufacturers uh, welcome recycled glass because when it's used as a raw material in making new glass, it requires less energy in furnaces. But we could do uh, a much better job of recycling glass. Glass bottles for food and beverages largely used by hotels and restaurants are 100% recyclable since they change it uh, frequently. With the use of cutlets in glass manufacturing, water pollution is reduced by, by 50%. Greenhouse, uh, greenhouse gases are cut down by 24.8% while remelting glass cutlets. Uh, <clears throat> and it also requires 40% less energy and saves 300 kilograms of CO2 compared to the manufacturing of new glass from uh, raw materials. And um, based on the UAE agenda, they are aiming to, to recycle glass by 75% uh, by 2032. Then we have stainless steel, which, is, can, which can also be a good option, especially to replace plastic bottles with metal bottles. But the disadvantage of uh, stainless steel bottles is uh, that they are reusable and that can cause a problem to some users. Did you know that over 80 million plastic bottles are made every year? With more than 80% bottles ending in our oceans and landfills that, that, can, that can take to 800 uh, years to buy the grid, this, this is a huge problem. And, the for this and paper water bottle becomes a better bottle. way 
and uh, are well on the path to helping solve the plastic water problem through an innovative use of sustainable pulp materials and the popularity liquid barrier. Our bot is designed to break down in a modern landfill and convert to clean energy. And to this waste management system, how does this work? Well, when you throw one of our bottles into the trash, it ends up directly in a landfill where it and other biodegradable waste is enclosed and begins to decompose producing biogas, part of, or part of which is often methane gas. This biogas is then collected by a piping system and used in an on-site generator. And when, uh, one of many landfill gas to energy facilities was converted to electricity used in homes and businesses. Isn't that amazing? With paper water bottle, your waste is used to create energy. That's good for the community. Join us together, we will help save our planet. Now, this is in this slide, we're going to talk about the backyard compostability. First of all, with the model, as you can see in this slide, this is what we were aiming to do. At the first, this is how we wanted to, uh, our model to be. Then with the advanced design and the hardware that we did on it, the prototype that we achieved on that, the second design. Then we had the capability to increase it more. We want to be, first of all, eco-friendly, and that is, uh, can be recyclable within, uh, within uh, the backyard compatibility. So we increased it within the 58%, so it's echo one white. Then again, we tried and increased it more to 65%, which is considered as 98% landfill biodegradable, and it's uh, known as 100% recyclable. Then in the coming future, we'd like to increase it more to 85% and 100%, but the thing is, is the cost. That's what we're facing in this uh, designing. Then uh, with 80 billion plastic bottles produced yearly, and 80% plastic bottles end up in landfills, 800 years for plastic bottles to biodegrade. With our design, we can decrease that. Paper water bottle technology packing like, packaging like no other. So first with the pulp exoskeleton, especially blended combustion com com of uh, wheat straw, bamboo husks, sugar cane, the sustainability, renewable, recyclable, and biodegradable, Materials that can convert to biogas for clean energy. Content barrier increasingly less barrier. Material with more sustainable content. Our goal is 100% biodegradable. It is compostable. guilt free disposability with a quick breakdown. It is brandable. Unlimited shape, aesthetic, and functional capability. And here the last one, which is human appeal. People of all generations, backgrounds, and locations globally recognize the value of it. Now, this is the last design that we used with, after using um, an app we'll be mentioning it on later. This is the last thing that we used on, and how it looks like. Now, we have reached the part of the design. We will be mentioning our steps within the, this design, and how did we manage to use the software to make a 3D mode of our design. This is our design from scratch, so what did we basically do? We took a measurement of a, of a bottle, a normal bottle. We took the measurement of it, and um, after using the like websites, other websites, but it didn't manage with us, so we used a website, uh, I mean an app called Adobe. As a team, we all learned the fundamentals of this app and how, the, and how it goes with it. It took us time, but we managed to do it since we are a team. How did we come up with the idea? During all the milestones that we did, we kept watching videos and reading articles about like how can we design a water uh, paper bottle. Then we managed to come up with the exact design now. As you can see in the previous page, the SCAD design, uh, we took a sample of a normal bottle and tried to do it. At the same design we wanted. The first step, we took a normal uh, template bottle and tried to recreate using Adobe for the design. Second, we drew the outline of the template bottle to create our prototype design. The third, which is the last step, is applying the colors and the final design, which is the bottle that we showed in the previous slides. Did we find the, like, the app useful Adobe? Yes, we actually did. It was a surprise that we have retrieved this design, and we are happy at what we accomplished. The design was kind of complicated somehow due to our first time designing a model, 
but we covered everything and divide ourselves so it can be easier for this team. Now, the important thing, how can people actually know about our design? We asked a lot of successful business workers who made their business successful in the UAE. After a lot of discussion with them, they told us we can contact an institute, which is called Dubai SME. What is Dubai SME? It is basically an institute that Sheikh Mohammed Barras Al Maktoum is holding and promoted young businesses so they can be successful in the future. So as a part of this country, we will be happy and be showing our design there so they can promote it and teach us more on how to improve it if it needs any improvements due to our business. Okay. In conclusion, to divert waste from landfills, uh, production and recycling, although these exp uh, experts are con conscious that uh, la landfilling waste is the most economical disposal method, they also agree that more recycling and resource reduction should be attained to reduce the, con uh, the continuous uh, needs for landfills. Though plastic is very useful in modern civilization and provides us with various uh, useful articles, it serves as a serious threat to, to our environment. So we should try our level, our level best to reduce, reuse, and recycle plastic whenever possible to reduce the level of environment pollution caused by plastic. There seems to be significant uh, awareness of the importance of recycling in the region. However, not all communities uh, have the knowledge and <clears throat> have the knowledge uh, to to recycle plastic. At the end, we think our, that our product is crucial in our region and country, and it is important because it follows the UAE's national agenda to help reduce plastic and create new methods uh, to, <clears throat> to create biodegradable uh, replacement for plastic. Thank you. Thank you, Shabab. We enjoyed watching your presentation. Thank you for your efforts. Uh, now back to the girls section. We have Jenna Ahmed. She will be presenting for us her uh, business project. Are you ready, Jenna? Uh, yes, miss. Yeah, you can share your screen. Good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is Jenna, and today I'll be speaking about my marketing uh, project-based learning project. Uh, PBL research and summary. For this project, we redesigned a product so that it was more sustainable and profitable by using the energy design process, marketing concepts, and geometric modeling. And the steps we took were uh, defining the problem, defining the target market, marketing research, collecting relevant information and developing findings, and taking marketing actions. Our product, Surprise Glasses. We designed special glasses that include captions and a translator which provides many languages in the world. Our aim for these glasses was for people with hearing issues and tourists to benefit from this, since not much people know sign language and not all tourists study languages when traveling for a vacation. And ad an addition to this is that people could adapt to this and learn new languages. Uh, defining the problem. Uh, now, our product is aimed and targeted at some people and has its main goals. Starting with our objectives, we made our glasses so that it can help tourists communicate with locals, help more people learn new languages, and benefit people whom are hard of hearing. Now, our target market that shows what people we aim for, our glasses work as a substitute for people who, who can't afford hearing aids, and people that want to learn new languages or travel to foreign countries. Market research. Uh, starting with the data collection method, when collecting data for our glasses, we search through online polls, interviews, sale reviews, and surveys. First, the secondary data collection. We are inspired by both Bluetooth glasses, uh, which contains a wireless audio system. The system had components such as batteries that had to be miniaturized so they could fit in the glasses. Using batteries instead of a charger, since it lasts longer and to avoid people, uh, for getting to charge the glasses, and it's also easy for all ages and includes nature colors that suits both genders. Uh, now the primary data collection. 
Uh, we worked on self-made surveys that would help us improve our product and with our target market. And we also uh, experimented with our products to test if there are any issues or any malfunctions. Defining the target market. To find our target market, we conducted a survey that would help us find uh, who would use our product by learning about their following age, gender majority, career path, language is spoken, languages want to learn, and whether it's a need or a want. Our main target was to help people who are hard of hearing and improve a tourist experience when traveling to the better by understanding people around them. Uh, we conducted a survey about our product to get our target audience and make sure that most of our customers would be satisfied with our product. We got results such as majority of genders that responded uh, and if our glasses met our respondents' needs and how beneficial our glasses are to them and so on. Uh, data analysis. The technology behind our glasses includes small parts that could fit into the glasses and batteries instead of a charger, while still using environmental elements and being profitable. Uh, the survey that we conducted helped us infer the age and gender majority of our respondents. The way our survey helps us with our market is based on the respondents' answers saying that our product would be recommended, uh, and that also our product meets their needs, and now we can get, target our advertisements the right way. Uh, we also uh, created an advertisement for our classes. Hola, ¿eres el socio de negocios que fue enviado desde América? I'm sorry, I don't speak Spanish. Oh, tengo una solución. Huh? Toma estas gafas. ¿Entiendes lo que digo? Yes, these glasses are life-changing. Where did you buy them from? Se llaman gafas de subtítulo y me encontré con ellos mientras miraba a través de Amazonas. Estos vasos también me ayudaron a comunicarme con gente que no oye una compra valía los 79 dólares. I absolutely love them. I will purchase them when I get home. Want those life-changing glasses? Check out our Instagram account at subglasses or go on Amazon slash subtitledglasses.com. Uh, that was our, our advertising video that uh, me and my group have worked on. Uh, now with the success cr criteria. Uh, our success criteria includes um, uh, profitability, uh, sustainability, which is environmentally friendly, uh, level of innovation of our product, and it's not repetitive since it's a new and modern idea, and it's, uh, it has a strong durability and it's also affordable. Uh, skills um, with this project, uh, the project added to my skills and the skills I was able to develop from it were project management, attention to detail, problem solving, communication skills, entrepreneur skills, innovation and teamwork. Uh, thank you for listening. Thank you, Jenna. Thank you, Jenna, for the presentation. The idea of your project is very innovative. Thank you. Uh, now, next, we will continue with the girls' section, physics project, Maryam, Malak, and Jude. You can share the screen, girls, and start. All right. Hello, everyone. Today, me and my teammates are inviting all of you to follow us through our own Vestas journey. This will be the outline of our presentation for today. I'm pretty sure that all of us has experienced the feeling of getting your food delivered, not the way that you expected it at some point, but not to worry no more because with our, our, with our unique Velista, we're going to solve this problem directly from the source and your food is going to be delivered to you the way it was supposed to from the very beginning, the perfect condition. Our logo presents our idea as the hands present delivering and this team presents food and the three colors of the bowels represent sustainable development goals. Our project will completely be sustainable.
Our model was inspired by the children's non-spell bowl, but on a bigger scale and for a different use. The children's non-spell bowl was made to keep the food inside the bowl, so that no matter how much the child rolled or tilted the bowl, the food inside of it will always remain safe. After some intensive research, we also got inspired by the gyroscope. The gyroscope is a device used for measuring or maintaining orientation and angular velocity. It's a spinning wheel or disc in which the axis of rotation is free to assume any orientation by itself. So, our model will be made of two large bowls and a ring in between. Each bowl will rotate so that when the food is put inside, it will be completely still, ensuring that if the motorcycle tilts, the food inside won't be spilled or harmed. Our model is a semisphere, as you can see, and it's consisting of two bowls and a ring they, that are connected to each other in four points. In the inner bowl, there is support so we can place the package on it. These numbers are the dimensions of the model. We took into consideration the size of the delivery box used in most delivery motorcycles. You can see here the dimensions of the bowls and the spacing between each bowl. Food might be delivered to you in a bad condition, and it's no one's problem to blame for, as it's getting ruined by natural forces. Ballista is based on the gyroscope as it has four rotation points, which makes it 360 degrees rotatable, and it will ensure your food to be delivered in the perfect condition. Shooting the materials that we're going to work with, we needed something that will be eco-friendly, hard and sturdy, and easy to shape. And after conducting our research, we came to know that sugarcane almost had the same properties as plastic and when i say that it's almost the same properties as plastic but it is eco-friendly though it means that it is hard and sturdy and is easy to shape with where we came to realize that your cane will be our perfect match to work with as you saw from our model we had many rich physics parts including the center of mass the equilibrium and inertia To start off, what is center of mass? Center of mass is the average position of all parts of the system. And to find the center of mass of two objects, you're going to use the formula x centimeters is equals to m1x1 plus m2x2 over the sum of m1 and m2. Applying this concept on our model, we had to find the center of mass of a hemisphere of mass m and radius r. The center of mass will lie on the y-axis, and to calculate the exact location of center of mass, this will require some simple calculations, as it will be shown in the next slide. Here's the hemisphere, which represents our model. As if we calculate the center of mass, the final results will be the radius divided by 2, as it's shown down below. So if you go have the radius on the y-axis, this means the center of mass will almost be there as the point pointed as x here. Equilibrium is the state of physical balance. Torque is the tendency of a force to rotate the body to which it's applied. If the size and the direction of the torques acting on the object are exactly balanced, then there is no net torque acting on the object, and the object is said to be in equilibrium or balance. There are three types of equilibrium, neutral, stable, and unstable. Neutral is when the object remains in equilibrium no matter what force is applied to it. Our model ensures that neutral equilibrium is all the time achieved. Lastly, inertia. Inertia refers to the resistance to change. Newton's first law is often referred to as the law of inertia, and it states that in the absence of a net force, a body will preserve its state of motion. Let's say that the driver of the motorcycle hits the brake. Due to inertia, the balls of ballista will start rotating in a way that protects the foot. Now, the expert session was conducted. We displayed our idea to the, uh, to the expert, and this was his feedback. I think it's a, you have identified a really interesting problem, and I think that the, let's say, the, the possibility of it building is a very interesting solution. I personally think...
Taking our idea into next stage, we enrolled into the USTAR competition, where it's a competition that you get to apply from all across the UAE, competing in order to present your idea in front of in front of a bunch of businessmen and experts. And in this competition, and after competing, we ended up as the top five from all over UAE. During our journey, we faced a lot of challenges, and as the model designer, finding a platform to design the model on was the hardest. But at last, I settled down to choosing SketchUp, as it had I had taken courses on it two years ago. We had our challenges, but we gained our skills as well. Where this BBL taught us how to uh, how to work with leadership and under stress. Thanks for giving us your attention. If you have any questions, please go ahead. Thank you, ladies, for your efforts. Now we will be going to... Uh, to uh, Ali Ismail, uh, I think, now. Yeah. Yeah. Do we have, uh, okay. we have the, the chemistry guys? Mr. Salim, you can share. Yes, one moment, please. Just a second, teacher. Well, Assalamu alaikum. Today we'll be presenting to you our PBL on biodegradable plastics. Our group will focus more on the chemistry-related aspects of the topic. So I will start by listing our group's objectives for uh, this topic throughout the year. And firstly, we wanted to address one of the biggest global issues that is plastic pollution. Secondly, we wanted to, to define plastic and what it is made of. Thirdly, we wanted to define biodegradable plastics, then to acknowledge the types of biodegradable plastics. And then we brainstormed on how can we restore current plastic with biodegradable plastics. And we looked at the negative, negative effects that plastic produced as a waste. And finally, we compared biodegradable plastics and the normal plastics. Uh, so over the previous few decades, the use of plastic products has skyrocketed. People are basically drawn to this virtually indestructible material. Plastic is causing a global issue because it takes millions of years to decompose, uh, leading to the production of over 380 million tons of plastic every year, and as much as 50% of that is for single-use purposes only. Scientists believe that most plastics takes more than 400 years to degrade, which in the end will result in just taking up land and causing pollution. So now people may ask themselves, what can we do about this? You may think of recycling, but unfortunately, a study which was conducted in 2019 shows that around 91% of plastics are not recycled. It is not as simple as we should increase our recycling rates as there are many factors that accompany recycling plastics that make it a non-viable solution as it cannot keep up with the rate of production of plastics. We believe that the polyactic acid proxy will decompose foremost in the soil environment. The polyactic acid proxy will not decompose on its own. Also, plastics which are known as biodegradable will play a role in plastic pollution if they're lost as they do not break down as quickly in the environment and thus can harm wildlife and ecosystems. In our opinion, by the year 2030, biodegradable plastics will take over and become popular around the world, which will aid in solving many problems. All right, I'm going to talk about the plastics and the background research. So mainly we're going to talk about the plastics that are factory made, and they're mainly through polymerization process. So they form through a process where there is the double bond between the carbon chains will just degrade into the single bond and then those 
monomers that are just bonding together with one that polymer. So that's going to be polymerization process. So first thing, we're going to talk about the addition of polymerization. So what happens if we take an example of an ethylene uh, compound, what will happen is that the carbon bond between it, it will have a double bond. So the single bond will occur by breaking the double bond, and then they join together. So it's a monomer plus monomer, it will equal that polymer. And so that will make that long chain. And then we want to have condensation and condensation to occur. And that will continue the polymerization process. All right. So let's talk about the procedure. So the, for the procedure, it's going to be pretty simple. Uh, because we said polymerization process is just the process of breaking these double bonds in the carbon atoms, we'll just have uh, the materials. We'll start by measuring out a tablespoon of starch, four tablespoons of water, a tablespoon of glycerin, vinegar, and then we won't put them in that beaker. Mixing everything, and everything for the dissolve, then turn on the heat, on the Bunsen burner, of course, and then a couple of seconds, so will take a couple of minutes or seconds, we'll be able to see some bubbling and clumping that will occur, and then a toothpaste-like substance would appear. And then we're going to stir that until it turns to a jelly-like substance, and again, bubbling will appear. We keep on stirring and stirring and stirring, under, uh, which is under heat. And at the end, we spread out what we got. And that would be just a simple procedure of forming a biodegradable plastic. So that would be the process of making our biodegradable plastic. Uh, to really understand why the move to biodegradable plastic is necessary, we need to analyze data that predicts the amount of plastic produced, recycling, incinerated, and discarded. It is clear that the only environmental friendly option that is recycling is incapable of catching up to the production of plastic, making it necessary for a complete global transition to change the plastic we generate to biodegradable plastics. This is if we want to sustain our environment. To summarize, biodegradable polymers play an important role in addressing the enormous waste of filter problem. But their effectiveness will be contingent uh, to the, on the development of affordable trash sorting technologies and investments in biological waste management facilities. And uh, thank you for listening. This is uh, the end of our PBL. Thank you. This was actually the last presentation for the for ultimate design projects that we had. Thank you all for attending and listening. Any question for any of the groups? Anyone has something to add? Thank you all for attending again. And you can continue with the uh, slow the spread, I think, uh, projects are playing now. Thank you.